Hi, this is Mike from CCSL, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a popular crisp snack uh, using the project curve. So I'm going to create uh, an ellipse on the top plane. And dimension this to constrain it. So from some research, I'd say the length is about um, six centimeters and the width around 4.5. And that's our, our shape looking at it uh, top down. And what I want to do now is create the curve that it'll follow. So if I go and sketch on the front plane, and I'm just going to draw some construction lines. So make them level. Just make both of these equal. Oh, and make both of them construction as well. And we want this to be about half the length. Okay, so it's still under constrained. So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to add a pierce in relation to both lines. And that's fully constrained. So now I'm going to add my spline. I'm going to go for a style spline. It's easy to use. I just select the three points that I want the spline to go through. And under constraint, because it can move here, so I'm just going to add a relation in here to be coincident. And that's now fully constrained. Okay, so the next tool we're going to use is the project curve. So if I go into search, project curve, it's actually on the features tab under curves, project curve. And select the two sketches and you can see from the preview here, we're going to get that uh, nice shape. <coughs> so, if we have a look side on, you can see it follows this pattern. And if we have a look from the top, we've still got the ellipse. So, now if I go to the surfaces tab, filled surface. going to get that shape we all know. Finally, as it's still a surface and not a solid, I'm going to go to the thicken. So I'm going to give a thickness of about 5 mil, And that'll create a solid and conclude our tech tip on project curves and surface fill to create the crisp shape.